Welcome back to Insurmountable. For our next mission, let's finish up Mountain 1. We have two to do, so let's do one of them. This one where we get a bonus for using the adventurer. And this is the one where we unlock the journalist. The rumors of a journalist wandering the mountain. Find him and use his investigative skills to find a way out of the time loop. We have cold weather. Okay, so warmth is going to be especially important. Now let's switch over to the adventurer. Since warmth is going to be particularly important. Um, well, I really want the flashlight. Because again, cave strat. But if I toss the oxygen bottle, I could take fur gloves with us. Or fur boots. They both do the same temperature wise. So I don't think one is really better than the other. I don't know, let's take gloves, I suppose. And then we have 10 to spare. Mm, there's no equipment for 10, so it's going to be a consumable. Safety rope would be good. I think that's probably better than hot tea or food or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about that. Let's go. It's a tip here. You can also set the camera to rotate around its own axis to give you a better overview of tight spaces with R. I don't think I've used that yet. The mysterious stranger has seen another person in the mountains. This person is not from the area and looks like a journalist. That can't be a coincidence. You think he'll make a good ally, but first you have to find him. What is this? Oh, tracking device. Some missions are required to use your tracking device to find your next goal. You can activate it, yeah, right down here. You can then move your camera to find your goal. The closer your goal is to the center of the screen, the stronger the signal will be. Remember to look up or down to get a more precise location. Okay, right. I saw this used a little bit when I played with my friend. Yeah, it works like that. So signal seems to be strongest here. Okay, so what does R do? Wait, didn't that say R is default? R does rest. It must be talking about V, which I've already used. Yeah, that is spinning about its own axis. Okay, I thought there was yet another way to change the camera. At the moment, I only know of two. If you hold down middle mouse, it's like this, where it spins around the character, and then if you hold down V, it's the camera spins around, it, well, itself, its own axis. Anyway, hmm, we're pretty close to the close to the death zone. We really don't have to go up much to hit it. Uh, thankfully, oh, there we go. Yeah, right up there is the death zone. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on a mountainside. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum flask of tea half buried in the snow. Hmm. It's early on. Oh man, even with our gloves, our temperature is still going to take a significant hit just from spending five hours. Or maybe that's from the event. I, don't, I can't tell if that's like, you know, predefined by the event itself or if it's because of time ticking away. I don't know. But anyway, let's dig. And actually, before that, yeah, I did equip the fur gloves. Okay, good. Or they're automatically equipped. I don't know. Anyway, dig. You dig until your hands grab hold of a piece of fabric. You continue to dig and finally pull a stranger out of the snow. He's breathing and conscious with no obvious injuries. Exhausted but overjoyed, he hands you a gift which you gratefully accept. Wow. So, what? <laughs> 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 
they got buried by the avalanche and dropped their tea. I guess that does make sense, I suppose. I don't know why that seems so bizarre to me. I guess that does make sense. Oh, nice. Get hot tea. Lucky tea. And a warm cap. Oh, perfect. Well, with two pieces of warm clothing, I think I should be okay. Despite the cold weather, um, I would think. Am I going to lose temperature by time passing? Yes. Yes, I will, but very, very slightly. Just ever so slightly. Pip is meowing in the background. I don't know if you'll be able to hear him. Fairy light. As you gaze around, you notice a faint light in the distance. It flits back and forth, up and down. Approach it carefully. Mm, you see a meandering mountaineer. He seems tense and appears to have lost his way. You aren't sure whether or not you should offer to help him. I'll probably get hit in the head for this, but I'm going to offer to help. The stranger is tartled, startled and flails his arms around wildly, striking out at you. You stumble and fall. By the time you've picked yourself up, the stranger has disappeared. You search for his light, but it too has vanished. I'm just going to assume that they struck us on the head. End of mission. End of mission. Oxygen. Or you gain more of pretty much everything when you wake up. Hmm... Well, I did dump my oxygen bottle. So I don't have any oxygen right now. And we are pretty close to the death zone, so I'm going to take the oxygen one. Yeah, maybe I should spend some time here down here gathering some things, given how close the death zone is. There's even a place to sleep over here. I don't really need that. That doesn't give you equipment. Those ones. Something I can't figure out is why is this one glowing, but that one isn't? They're both the same symbol, right? So what does the glowing only on this one indicate? I don't get it. Oh, right. I have um, sprint. Mm. I just head right on over the cave, I suppose. Oh, now that one's glowing. Maybe it's just that effect only appears if it's close enough, just to save on performance or something. Explore the tunnel. Use my flashlight. Yes. Nice. Two food. Sleep long. End of mission. It's the only end of mission one. You get more body temperature with using consumable items. Hmm. I don't know if I really need to worry about that too much now that I have two pieces of equipment that increase my temp. But then again, do I really want these other ones? Ah, eh, I'll take warm thoughts. Oh, the unknown fruits. Well, we've eaten these before and we were fine, but I assume it's like a dice roll. So maybe we're probably to assume that these are different fruits each time and it's not always going to give us a good outcome. 
but I'm going to eat as many berries as I can. Hee 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 hee. Slightly tart, refreshing, tasty. You feel them replenishing your energy and strengthening you for the long journey still ahead of you. Not that we really needed that. I think it mostly gives you energy back, which we were already full of, but it also gives us XP. Let's get warmth back since we're full on energy. I suppose I could try to get this one too, because actually I could use sanity. Let's mm, sprint. Sure, why not? It's not really any particular reason to sprint, but also no real reason not to, I guess. Like, most of these events... I think there's different sets of events that appear on the different mountains, and it seems like we've pretty much experienced almost every event that there is on Mountain 1. I've noticed some different outcomes occasionally because I think there's just a dice roll for what happens in the event, but most of the events themselves I think we've encountered, so I'm skipping through a lot of these. But if I notice anything new, I will of course stop. Oh, and we get a crap ton of sanity back. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, my 12% time cost on all terrain while oxygen is above 60. That's a good one. Definitely. Other than that, it's more body temp. Nah, let's go with the time cost one, because hopefully we can keep our oxygen high and above 60. I think we've eaten up all the events down here, and I'm feeling pretty good about my items. Yeah, let's just kind of get back to our starting position. And we were just going to head straight up here. Oh, there's two places to sleep slash farm equipment from. <laughs> Was this one in the... not in the death zone. Okay. I think it's just... Yeah, it's a bit shy of it, thankfully. Oh, there's this over here, but I literally don't need it. My stats are pretty much all maxed. I could go farm equipment and stuff over on this side, but eh, I think we're okay. Can't really avoid this being steep. It just is. Oh, no exploring it. Should I sleep? Um, let's sleep briefly. And then I'll head over to the other cave and maybe sleep long, and then it'll probably be daylight again. Doesn't really matter that I burn energy, because I'm about to get it back. I'm just trying to avoid breaking my leg. Yeah, just one yellow tile. I feel like I've already won. <laughs> Just because I got the two pieces of equipment that deal with the temperature, which is the biggest environmental hazard here. Oh. Again, I wish... Why does there have to be a person here? I can't shine the flashlight in their eyes or anything. It's just no use. Let's just lie down and rest.
All right, check again. Over there. It might be all the way on the other side of this mountain here. I don't see any events up here. No, that's the death zone. I'm gonna have to choose a buff, but then we're immediately gonna go out of the death zone. Oh, there's a cave over here. Hmm. Ooh, actually, mend my wounds will give me some sanity. Let's take that. really my biggest concern at the moment. I seem to be pretty good on everything else. Don't know if I'll sleep, but let's see if we can get some equipment or provisions from this cave. Explore the fault. Flashlight. We found a tent. Ah, oh. it hasn't dissolved at all. It's got all of its uses. Mm, yeah, there's no real reason to sleep. Abandoned radio relay station. Let's stay and look around. You notice an open crate amidst all the scrap metal. You lie on your belly to reach in and fish out a few provisions. As you try to get back up, you lose your balance, falling forward and gashing your knee. Oh, but I found a bandage. How perfect. You know what's kind of surprising about the bandages, though, is that they repair health, but they don't remove status effects. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but it just sort of feels like it should. I mean, I know a bandage isn't going to solve a sprained knee or sprained ankle or anything, but I don't know. It feels like it should. Anyway, plus 30% energy cost on all terrain. Hmm. I would like to find a cave, although I do have two tents, so kind of who cares? Yeah, I would see it directly in front of me if it was actually there. It's all the way, I think, on the other side of the mountain. Let's head over here. There's quite a few dangerous bits of terrain there. Might use my rope, but let's see if there's maybe a safer way up. Actually, you know what? Break your knee. Who cares? I'm feeling a little bit reckless. I think we'll be fine. I feel unstoppable. I feel like Mountain 1 is easy peasy at this point. Oh, there's a canyon, is there? Well, I'll lose some temperature and some time. I don't care. Oh, there's another cave over there. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. That's the goal. It is just right there. It was just behind something. But, uh, yeah, let's sleep this off and make it daytime. And we just wasted tons of energy on poor route choice and our messed up legs, so... There we go. Messed up leg is gone. Hmm...
No, we don't we don't need that. We're fine. Wait, there's a bit of a dead end here. Yeah, I think we kind of have to go down and then back up. You come across an abandoned campfire. A few half-burned scribbles are peeking out between blackened twigs. Something about an anomaly. These obviously belong to the stranger. You dig around in the ashes. They're still warm. The stranger cannot be far away. After a short pause, you get up to go and find him. Oh, nice. We get a bonus to everything. Kind of like uh, reaching the summit, I guess. Hmm... More body temperature per hour when moving. We're fine on temperature. Oxygen. Let's get that. Mm, find and reach second clue. That is probably on the other side of the mountain. Oh, wait, is that a... Oh, shit, this is a dead end, isn't it? Exactly, we can climb up that way. Yeah, let's do that. I'm I'm feeling really confident about this. I'm gonna be super careless. Here we go. Wish me luck. I'm going to do ridiculous, impulsive things and be super fast. Reach into the hole. What do we get? Some experience. I'm going to choose terrible routes. It's fine. Don't worry. Explore the fault. Use our flashlight. We get some more food. Man, I have a lot of food. Let's sleep. I need energy because of my terrible routes. Yeah, it is on the other side of the mountain. So let's just... Well, let's not be completely ridiculous. Let's use the rope to avoid bad terrain and sprint. Sprinting like a thousand meters up a mountain. Why not? Actually, I know why not, because it's a marathon, not a race. I do not have oxygen, but I also don't need to sleep as much because I have tons of canned food, but still, I don't have oxygen. It'd be very bad to run out of oxygen. Anyway, it's fine. Just a little ment mental note to myself to be not completely reckless. Don't 
have the energy to reach that, so let's eat. Oh, there's someone in here. Am I gonna rest? See if I rest. Yeah, it's gonna eat through my oxygen. I really don't want to. Nah. Just gonna eat food. That's why I have food. A grave. Pay tribute. Reflect. Gain more stuff when you wake up. Let's go down. I want to be out. Actually, I'm well above 6,000. It's going to take <laughs> a lot more time to get down than I thought. Uh, I'm not going to steal from someone's backpack. Eat. Eat. I want to get that. I want to get that sun. Oh man, that's a lot of horrible tiles. These are safety. Bro. I think I might be able to see the point that we need to go to from up here as well. Or maybe not. Camp. Search it. Find some climbing gloves. I'll keep my warm gloves on, I think. We'll get back sanity. Nice. really not very exact. It could be anywhere here. So let's just move down, I guess. Let's head in the general direction. Hopefully I can get energy back so I don't have to sleep. No. I guess warmth since I don't need health. Dead Mountaineer. Lose some sanity. sleep. Let's sprint so we can hopefully get out of the death zone quicker.
And let's rest here now that we're just out of the death zone. Get some oxygen back and energy and make it daytime. Okay, we're really close. But it's down. There it is. And it's probably going to be the end of the mission. That's how it was with the scientist, anyway. And actually, all the missions, now that I think about it, they've all been go to two points, right? Go to the summit, and then go to your leave point. So actually, maybe... Ah, I've already gone there. <laughs> I was thinking of collecting some experience. You enter a cave and see a mountaineer with modern equipment who's in the middle of cleaning his camera. You draw attention to yourself, and he looks at you inquisitively. He doesn't even bat an eye as you tell him about the time loop in the station you want to bring him back to. Just as you're about to leave, you hear a shrill siren. You cover your ears with your hands, your face contorted in pain. Glaring light radiates from the stone and envelops you. Okay, that mission was very easy, but I need to not get cocky just in case Mountain 2 completely kicks my ass. There is going to be a difficulty spike. I just don't know how big of a spike. Skip that. Oh, we just got one level up. But we got more capacity. And unlocked oxygen mask, protective helmet, and warm cap. Nice. Oh, you made it back in one piece. It looks like we'll have to redefine the word insurmountable for you. <laughs> Gee, thanks. And it's marvelous that we have another ally now. Please talk to each other and learn from each other. The only way we have any hope of escaping the time loop is if we all pull together as a real team. Of course. Uh, oh yeah, now we have the character points to spend for the journalist. <gasps> okay, okay. Try not to get overwhelmed. Less energy on all terrain. Nice. Whenever you reach a point of interest, gain 160 experience. That's pretty huge. That's going to add up to a lot of experience. Whenever you level up, gain 15 energy, 15 body temperature, 15 oxygen, 3 sanity, and half a point of health. That's really good. You level up a lot. Like probably just about as much as you sleep. Maybe a little bit less. Less sanity loss and events. Okay, I really like the combo of you get more experience from events, and then when you level up, you get a lot of stuff. That's a great combo. Mm. Single-minded. For six, it's an active skill. For six hours, ignore negative effects of weather and terrain. Wait, what do they mean negative effects of terrain? Like, even dangerous terrain, do they mean? Hmm. That sounds amazing, actually. That's the uh, that's the most e expensive skill in this whole tree, actually. Yeah, we're getting that. That's really good. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, we get to play as the journalist. Or, well, we can play as whoever we want, but... We get a bonus for doing the journalist. An expansive mountain. Oh, that's the first one listed as expansive. Find three temporal anomalies, then reach the goal. Oh, that sounds... Well, that sounds a lot longer, right? Because a normal mission is two points of interest. This is four points of interest. The three anomalies and then the exit point. So I shouldn't be cocky for this one. This is, uh, like, the long game's really gonna matter here. Normal weather, but we have eerie surroundings, which means... Less sanity. Okay, we need to worry about our sanity. Uh, 
Alright. What can we take now that we have more room? So, flashlight and a tent is a must. Everything else? Not necessarily a must. I'm going to take the warm cap and an oxygen bottle. Actually, no. No, this is a super long mission. Equipment is going to add up more over time. I'm only taking equipment. Body temperature is covered with that. Let's get the snow boots. Or... No. Oxygen mask. Wait, that goes in the same spot. Okay. Then fur gloves and an oxygen mask. Yeah, that feels good. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to invest in the long term is my thought process. Equipment is going to last me the whole mission and it's going to be a long mission. You gaze at the endless mountain vista. Somewhere out there are strange apparitions, smaller anomalies that are connected in some way to the time loop. You have to seek them out and find out more about them. And you have to learn how to use them to your advantage. They may be able to help you get better, stronger. Wait, did we get upgrades from the anomalies? I don't remember. Okay. Not a lot of events around me. See if we can snag some equipment or provisions. Ah, it's someone... Mm. Wait, I don't want to wake the stranger. I really want to be careful with my sanity because there's increased sanity loss this mission. Uh, so we're just going to leave. Right. Okay, so just up here. Um, are we going to enter the death zone? It does not appear... No, that's the death zone. I don't think we need to go that high. So I guess I probably want to use this. Can I verify that it's going to do what I think it's going to do and ignore bad terrain? Like, I think I would need to test it over blue terrain. There's some blue terrain. Wait, no, that's not the type that takes more energy. That's the type that gives you cold, takes away temperature. Uh, ah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, that's the type that's going to take energy. Let's go here. And then, if I go here, it's going to take six energy. If I use this, now it's only going to take one. Yeah, so if it avoids that, then it should avoid the yellow as well, the super bad events. This, this is extremely good. That is so good. Northern Lights. Get some sanity back. Nice. I've already lost a startling amount of it. Oh, and level up. Right. When we level up, we get a bunch of, um, well, boosts to like every stat. Oxygen. Get more stuff for waking up. Hmm. Both are important. Neither are going to give me more sanity. Mm. Let's get controlled breathing. Oh, 
we can't use our flashlight here either. It's not really a point. And sleeping here? No. There's another cave over here. I'm still just flabbergasted at how good this single mine it is. It's like an even better version of that rope. Lasts for the same amount of time, does the same thing, but also protects you against weather effects. And you can use it every 24 hours. That's so good! I just leveled up again! Oh, there's a noise. Follow the noise. Use my flashlight! Oh, we get an herb! And... Do we sleep? I guess. It's gonna be nighttime, but meh. We need a bit of energy. Warm thoughts. Get more body temperature when we use consumables. Ah. There's the first anomaly. Oh, I'm going to enter the death zone there. Mm. Let's mend my wounds just because I want sanity back. Ah, thick black cable. Let's follow it. Climb down. Oh, and then we almost die, but we don't. But we don't get any items, we just get a little bit of experience. Oh well. Let's see what the anomaly does to us. You walk towards an icy, shimmering structure. You can see through it, although it distorts the landscape behind it strangely. You approach, ca approach cautiously and touch it. It yields to your touch, almost fluid, as if you were dipping your finger into water, but it doesn't feel wet. You close your eyes and step over the threshold into the anomaly. You open your eyes once more to discover a young girl standing in front of you. She wears a leather necklace around her neck and is holding a teddy bear. The girl seems strangely familiar. Then she smiles and speaks. So yeah, it's simply backwards. It says, you came to help me. How thoughtful. But now I will help you first. What do you need? Food or drink? Uh, food or drink? What is... Oh, I guess drink would probably be hot tea. I'm thinking what that means, like, in concrete, you know, terms. I guess it probably would be hot tea. Um, yeah, sure. Drink. The girl gives you a friendly nod and hands you two vacuum flasks filled with tea. Yeah. You stow the tea in your pack, still unable to shake the feeling that you know each other. Then you continue on your way. Minus 12% time cost on everything while oxygen is above 60. Let's take that. That's very good. It's going to add up for sure. That's just, just in the death zone there. So not going to be sleeping there. Not that I need to sleep at all, actually. But I do want to see if I can explore it with my flashlight. No, not a person. I'm leaving.
Okay, somewhere in that general direction. Encounter. As you walk past a massive crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into its depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Oh, we climb down and save them for sure. After a few feet, the ledge you're climbing along breaks off. You fall a short way before regaining your footing. The cries for the mountaineer from below have been silenced. You have no other choice than to climb back up. Oh, Jesus. The ledge fell down and killed them. Oof. That sucks. That's a horrible outcome to that event. Hmm. More body temp when we use items. Our body temp seems fine. Yeah, I'm not really worried about body temperature. And I don't want to take this, which will give me increased sanity loss. So I guess I'll just take warm thoughts. Trade. As you step through a rock arch, a giant of a man in a torn honor rock uh, suddenly blocks your way. He points at your backpack with a scowl. Is it going to rob you? As if he has read your mind, the stranger starts to rummage around in his own backpack. You're relieved. He only wants to trade. The towering man indicates that he would like to leave a tent. You should take one of his possessions in return. You take... Wait, I don't want to give up my only tent. I just have one, right? Yeah, no, I'm not giving that up. Yeah, no, I don't want to trade. Hmm. A towering, extremely tall man. Could that be the Yeti in disguise? Got some dangerous terrain. Let's use single-minded. Hopefully we can get some energy back here. Shooting stars. Energy, yes! Okay, good, it's not a dead end. Whew. Ah, there's the other anomaly. Or another anomaly. take a lot of energy to follow the tracks. Um, but it's almost nighttime. So, yeah, okay. I'll follow the tracks and then I'll just sleep. You spot a tent shelter from the wind between two sheer rocks. Uh-huh. Wait, um, there's a loud snore. You cautiously approach. Suddenly, a bleary-eyed, haggard face pops out of the tent flap. The snorer smiles at you as they spot the backpack in your outstretched hand. Stranger takes the backpack and reaches inside. They rummage around and pull out a can of food which they offer to you. 
They weren't sure if he should accept the gift. After all, the stranger is thin as a rail and probably needs the food more than you do. Yeah, thanks, but I'm going to decline the gift. I did get good conscience. Half a point of sanity per hour when moving and 50% sanity gain in events. That's really good. Especially because sanity is a big worry in this, in this uh, level specifically. Although I am about to sleep away some of that, but eh, I'll still have a good amount of it left. My single-minded has run out, so let's try to avoid yellow. Seems impossible. Jesus, I can't see anything. Oh, do I not have... I don't have a flashlight in my hands. There we go. That helps. Quite a few events around here. Your heart starts racing as you notice something strange up ahead. The air in the distance appears to shimmer as if the freezing air was actually hot and humid. You move closer and walk through a veil covered in glowing veins. Behind it is a room, but not really a room. More like an open, transparent, dome-like structure. All noises cease and snowflakes dance around you but sluggishly, as if in slow motion. Your limbs relax as you watch the spectacle. Your thoughts quiet, and you become one with the mountain. The anomaly is truly a magical place. Feeling much better and suddenly in a good mood, you decide it's time to continue your journey. 20 sanity, nice. Ben and radio uh, relay station. Let's look around. Got some experience. You get more stuff for waking up. That's always good. Um, this would be good for sanity, but then again, my sanity's doing okay. And I have a moon herb, so let's take the take a slow. I just wish there were places to sleep around here. Anyway, where am I going next? Hello? Do I have to... Maybe I have... Oh, I have to be in this view. I can't... Yeah, you can't use this view. You have to use the character view. Appears to be on the other side of this mountain. Hmm. Oh, right. I have. No, I don't have snowshoes on. Right. I didn't take them. Just looking at all the events and. If there's a way up there, it doesn't take a shit ton of energy, but of course there isn't. I mean, we're climbing a freaking mountain. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Stop. If I climb up there, holy shit, that is going to take so much energy. Well, I guess that's not that much more than... Another one. I thought the blue was taking away just an unbelievably massive amount of energy, but I don't think it is, actually. 
Is it taking more energy because it's cold? No. Huh. It just be like that. Wait, this is new. Crates filled with dynamite are stacked in a small cave. Behind the crates, you can just make out a few torches. Now those would be useful. Okay, well, there's torches next to a dynamite. Next to a bunch of dynamite, so I could imagine the bad results that could happen here. And also the torches wouldn't be useful because I have a flashlight. So, no. Let's just continue. Ah, we need to sleep. Or do I have food? I don't... No, I don't. Let's take single-minded and watch our energy usage plummet from 13, boop, to 3. get some sanity and experience. St. Bernard! Yeah, it's the Bernard. I think the last one we encountered was in a snowstorm, was it? This one's thankfully not, but it's the same thing. There's a bag strapped to it. Search the bag. Oh my god! Hiking staff and more hot tea. I have so much hot tea, I do not need to worry about temperature. Mm. Yeah, less energy cost on one height differences or no height differences. Useless at the moment. In fact, pretty useless generally, really, because going on flat terrain already takes very little energy. Oxygen, more experience. Hmm. We get a big boost of energy. I think 15 energy when we level up. So more experience would be nice. That would equate to more energy. But despite my oxygen mask at the moment, I do not have any oxygen bottles. So let's take controlled breathing too. There's a chest. Dig it out. Ooh. No, that's too much energy expenditure. Mm. I don't know. Somewhere over here. <laughs> We get sanity and experience. Oh, I wanted energy.
warmth or sanity. I have so much hot tea, but I don't actually need sanity right now. But I have so much hot tea. I'm just going to top up my sanity. I'm really not worried about my temperature. I'm going to continue. I don't want to spend a bunch of time up here. I'll lose a bunch of oxygen. <clears throat> okay, it's... The next one's definitely lower down, so I, I can keep heading down. Oh, that's a complete dead end, isn't it? Yeah, there is... Absolutely no way through this little pathway. sleeping place down there, and that is below the death zone. Let's head for that. I'm going to run out of energy long before I get there. Like, now. <laughs> oh, is this my last use of the tent? It is. And it dissolves. If we slept, what do you, what do we lose more of by sleeping outside? Temperature is a huge one, but I'm not worried about my temperature. Aside from that, I think it's just sanity. Yeah, we lose a bit of sanity, but it's actually not that bad. Hopefully I don't have to, but if I do, it's not ruinous. Yeah, that's also a dead end. We have to... Well, I'll take this route, it looks like. Yeah, let's take it. Looks pretty good. Looks clean, no danger. Oh, I didn't even realize there's the anomaly. <laughs> And then after that, it's the exit. This has gone really well. Follow the smell. Well, we get a little bit of sanity and XP. Let's sleep long. Minus 20% time cost on all terrain while oxygen is above 60. Hell yes. That's fantastic. Someone who's injured. Ah, oh, that damn dislocated soldier. Soldier? Shoulder. Find out what's wrong with him. He screams and then is very, very happy. O2 bottle. Thanks. Oh, 
Oh no, icicles. Oh, just slightly hurt me. Eh. Sparks fly in front of you as if the air held an electric charge. You carefully approach the mysterious apparition, but deep down you know it's not dangerous. The light calls to you. You stand in the middle of the sparks. You throw up your arms in joy. You feel a, pin, a pins and needles sensation in your fingertips as if your whole body was being recharged, drawing in energy. You feel strong. Nothing and no one can stop you. You take a few notes before continuing onwards. This is definitely useful information. Ooh, tons of energy. Nice. Oh, the exit is just right there. Yeah, this went so well. Okay, let's be a little bit reckless and just gather up some last minute um, XP. Grab the backpack. We got the backpack. Yeah, got some snowshoes. Anything else here? Nope. You know what we could do? Yeah. Remember, one of the key things you get extra XP for is how many times you walked over dangerous terrain. I assume it still applies even if you take single-minded. <gasps> I can't tell if that actually overlaid like four times. It did. You just can't see it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. This is so cheesy. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is how you get better at mountaineering. This is training. I need montage music. I'm not putting montage music in. Okay, let's go. Let's see how many um, bits of dangerous terrain we walked over. Dangerous terrain crossed 66. Did it count the ones I just did, but was ignoring because of the ability? Probably, but I can't be sure. I'm certainly not going to sit here with like a clicker and count each dangerous terrain I go over <laughs> and see if the number matches up. Get some more character points. Excellent, you've successfully completed your task. Was it really rough out there? No, honestly, it was quite nice. Two hundred points for everyone. Hmm. Oh right, I forgot I got all this stuff for the adventurer for walking at night. I totally forgot. Well, I can continue to upgrade that stuff. Gives me an active skill that um, spends energy to increase body temperature. 35 body temperature for 15 energy. That's pretty good. Oh, minus 40% energy cost on all terrain at night. That's really good. I'm getting that. And then for the scientist. Mm -mm. I haven't been able to play the scientist yet, have I? I haven't had a mission with them where I have a bonus with them. But anyway, whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain 30 energy. That's fantastic. Everything's fantastic, I'm sure. But let's take it. Journalist. I'm so glad I took single-minded. What a great skill. 
minus three sanity loss in events. Team upgrades, we have a little bit of event knowledge. Increased experience gain in events, cool. And yeah, that is it for Mountain One. We completely finished Mountain One. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we play next time, we're going to get to start on Mountain Two for the first time, where I think we'll get a different pool of events and it'll probably be significantly harder. <laughs>